Welcome to Chapter 7 of Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to record payments and receipts in Tally ERP9. This is similar to how we recorded purchases and sales in our previous session. The only difference is that the fields required to be filled will be related to payments and receipts. Let's start. Press V for accounting vouchers. Press F5 for payment. Press F2 to set the date. I want to set the date as 21st November. You will notice that automatically Tally changes the date to 21st November, assuming that since our last transaction was on 20th November, we will want to change the date to the next date. Let us record a payment made by Guru Electronics for the rent of 10,000 rupees. Since this is a payment, Tally first asks for the ledger from which the payment is made. This can be either the cash or the bank ledger. Press space bar and you will see the list of cash or bank ledgers you have created. Select the ledger. I'm selecting the bank ledger. Now, let's select the ledger to which the payment is made. Press space bar to see the list of ledgers and select the ledger. I will select the rent ledger. Enter the amount. Press enter until you get this bank allocation screen. Here you can enter the method by which you are making the payment, check, transfer or others. Depending on the method of payment, you can enter the check number or UTR number if required. This will be useful if you use our banking features like check printing, check management and bank reconciliation. Enter the narration if required. While recording a payment or receipt transaction, you get various options in the right menu to help you record the transaction. For example, stat payment and nature of payment are options which will help you record payments with respect to GST. Similarly, in case the payment or receipt is by a post-dated check, you can mark the voucher as post-dated by pressing Ctrl T. By this, the transaction will reflect in your books only on the post-dated check date. Accept the voucher. Let us now record a receipt voucher for interest of 3000 rupees received from the bank. Press F6 for receipt. Since this is a receipt, Tally first asks for the ledger in which money is received. This can be either the cash or bank ledger. I am selecting the bank ledger. Now select the ledger from which the money is being received. For me, it's interest, so I will select the interest ledger. Enter the amount. Select the method by which the money is received. Enter the narration if required. Accept the voucher. Similarly, you can record all your business transactions in Tally ERP9. There is no need to get confused by which ledger to debit or credit. Just select the type of transaction and enter the details required. Your debits and credits are taken care of, while your accounts and reports are updated instantly. Whenever you want to see the list of transactions you have recorded, come to Gateway of Tally. Press D for display. Press D for daybook. Here, you get the list of transactions you have recorded on that date. Press F2 to change the date for which you want to see the list of transactions and press Alt F2 to change the period for which you want to see the list of your transactions. In our next session, you will learn about the powerful business reports in Tally ERP9.